Welcome to Hindsight 2021 for the second week of March. I'm Damian Musiani, and here's your news. Leading off, the Biden administration is giving itself its first real pat on the back after the Senate passage of a new $1.9 trillion coronavirus relief package destined to bring aid in the form of stimulus checks and infrastructure support to Americans and businesses who have suffered the effect of a year-long global pandemic. The measure passed 50 to 49 in a party line vote, but it was nearly derailed over the course of a 12 hour panic caused by the threatened mutiny of one Democrat. This guy, Senator Joe Manchin, deemed by some insiders as the most powerful politician in America. Why? Because as a centralist Democrat in the red state of West Virginia, Manchin needs to be sensitive to GOP issues that his constituents value, which can jam up a party line vote at any time. Gee, it seems like just last decade, when Manchin first ran for that Senate seat and found himself four points behind in the polls, luckily a certain hindsight reporter was able to lend him a hand on a national cable show since eliminated by cancel culture. I think the big problem is that I, really he's behind in the polls and it's desperation time. But I honestly, that I like that. And that actually makes me kind of lean towards supporting the guy. I don't live in West Virginia, but I, I kind of hope he wins. Yeah, hope Manchin wins. Sure, sure. You're a Philly guy. You like a Rocky Balboa story, right? Uh, uh, anyway, Garcia. Damian Garcia Muziani, you're the kind of guy I like. Anyway, thanks for coming on the show and being a good sport and endorsing Joe Manchin. Ah, the power of hindsight. A few days after this endorsement, Joe Manchin rebounded in the polls, won a seat in the U.S. Senate, and is sure to continue keeping politicians up very late at night. You're welcome, sir. Staying up late in New York was a woman who removed her bathroom mirror and found evidence of a secret spooky space on the other side. Samantha Hartso documented the discovery on TikTok, drawing over 9 million views. She decided to climb through the hole into what was actually an abandoned giant three-bedroom apartment on the other side. Clearly, this woman is a transplanted New Yorker because she called her super to come and patch the hole up. Die-hard Big Appleites would have quietly enlarged the opening and gladly taken over an extra thousand square feet of living space. But the allure of clicks and likes were just too much for Hartso to ignore, I guess. For reference, this woman also danced down the street dressed up as a soup can. Food for thought. Enjoy your 15 minutes, Samantha, but don't you ever complain about your lack of closet space again. And finally, some bright news for nearly divorced Kanye West. His new branded Adidas sneakers sold out in only one minute after going on sale. Here it is. The Yeezy 450 sounds more like a foreign motorcycle than a shoe, and it looks like you just stepped in a big marshmallow puddle. Reports say that the kicks would have sold out even sooner, but sales were delayed when Senator Joe Manchin temporarily objected to the shoes, holding out for West Virginia gold and blue colored laces. And that's your news. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you next week with fresh hindsight.